Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Lost in the Pond and the video is five soft drinks brands I only encountered after moving to America. And yeah, I mean a lot of soft drinks brands come from the US. Something that the US definitely specializes in. They do love a good soft drink company. And I mean a lot of them make it overseas and some of the biggest drink brands are Coca-Cola and stuff like that. So I mean, yeah, they are well known but then there's i guess some that aren't so well known and we're gonna see maybe they're good enough for the us but they didn't quite cross it i don't know cross a, pro a, pl a plus cross across they didn't cry they didn't quite cross across the pond i have no idea what i'm saying but brit let me just see british drink brands because i have no idea what brands um mount i'm um, not mountain Dew. um iron brew is one Schweppes, got a lot of Schweppes, Ribena, Sprite, if you're from, if you're watching this video right now and you're from another country, I'm assuming most of you are from the US, but any other country, have you ever heard of any of these drinks? So Sprite, Ribena, Ribena's alright, some are good for someone, Robinson's, Nescafe's British, what? 7up, PG Tips, which is tea, Fanta, wait, Nescafe is not English, I swear it's American. Okay, my Wi-Fi is so bad. I can't even be asked to wait. So, uh, uh, favorite drinks? No. The UK soft drink market is quite varied. Well, no, the, for God's sake, man! This is not what I'm looking for. What drinks are from the UK? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can't even be asked. This is pissing me off. <laughs> it's so hard to search these most, the most different easy things that you want to find but we're gonna see anyway about um five soft drinks in the u.s and maybe these are your favorite drinks but yeah let's check this out i know there's a lot of mountain dew fans out there i'm not picking a fight with you or the company and in any event i'm not the person to take advice from i come from a country that puts fries on bread hello i'm lawrence and i'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that britain and america lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to fizzy drinks or pop or soda or canned tooth decay of course growing up in britain i'm no stranger to bad teeth nor to the fact that both countries know a thing or two about soda for its part britain revels in some of its own brands but there are own brands and then there are own brands and then, of course, Britain has terrible as well. They are so shocking. Man. Brands of soda from the very country I've now lived in for 12 years. And this includes some of the big names like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Fanta and Listerine mouthwash. What do you mean? Of course we can include it. Listerine mouthwash is readily available all across the UK. But there are certain sodas, and by sodas I'm using the broad definition of carbonated beverage, that America is either keeping to itself or hadn't had the courtesy to introduce me to them while I lived in Britain. In other words, this video is all about those soda brands that I only encountered after moving to America. Mr. Pibb. One of the very first drinks that I had in the United States of America after the tequila was a bottle of Mr. Pibb. Mr. Pibb, thought I, isn't that interesting? A drink with a person's name and title in the title. Where have I seen that before? Well, it turns out that Mr. Pibb is Coca-Cola's answer to Dr. Pepper. But isn't Dr. Pepper just the same as Coca-Cola? I've had Dr. Pepper before and it just, to me it just tastes the same. I know it is a bit different, but... Mr. Pibb is a real brand made by Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, just to be similar to Dr. Pepper, because it like Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb sounds similar. What the? How different is Dr. Pepper to Coca-Cola? In fact, I was reading today that when it first launched, it did so under the name of Peppo, prompting Dr. Pepper to sue Coca-Cola for trademark infringement. Funnily <laughs> enough, no such lawsuit was brought forth by the similarly named Pepto Bismol, which also tastes like medicine. And I like how Dr. Pepper is somehow okay with Mr. Pibb, which sounds like Dr. Pepper's less qualified cousin. That said, Dr. Pepper, to which I was once horribly addicted, enjoys a successful life in Britain, whereas Mr. Pibb was presumably refused entry. When it comes to UK immigration, it pays to have a doctorate. But what makes my first encounter with Mr. Pibb intriguing is that it was discontinued seven years before I moved to the United States. So how did you do that then, Lawrence? Asks Uncle Toby. Was it time travel? Not on this occasion. First of all, upon its discontinuation, it was rebranded as 
Pib Extra. But that doesn't make any sense to me because I distinctly remember being introduced to a Mr. Pib and no, there were no handshakes because the fizz would have gone everywhere. Well, apparently Mr. Pib was and is still in circulation in some states. Now, of course, it's entirely possible that in 2020, my current state of Illinois and my previous state of Indiana now only stock Pib Extra, but I wouldn't know because, and this is an important piece of information, I gave up soda in 2014. And I also don't obsess over the brand of fizzy drinks until today. Day. That I don't really drink fizzy drinks either. I've gone through a little bit of a phase of drinking them more, but that's because I'm trying to gain weight. That's my excuse anyway, but I am trying to gain weight. So I have been just been like, you know what, Where, wherever I can get calories, I'm going to get them. So that's why, but I've, I'd, I'd happily not drink fizzy drinks. If it's in my house, I'll drink it. If it's not, I won't drink it, but I don't really have the control. If it's here, I probably will drink it, but not really Coca-Cola, but just like fizzy apple juice is like apple tires i don't know if that's in the u.s but just stuff like fizzy apple juice or whatever i'll have that it's not literally fizzy apple juice by the way it's fizzy it's like i don't know it's a brand but i don't think it'd be in the u.s but i don't know um but i don't really like drinking coke to be honest it's not my favorite i had it about two weeks ago again to gain weight because there's stupid calories in it but i don't drink coca-cola and that's pretty much it. That said, while you won't find a drink with a pib in it in most places in the world, most places in the world aren't Japan. Well, from hero to co We have Coke Zero here. Coke Zero. This is one of those Coca-Cola brands with which I wasn't familiar until I moved to Indiana. And really, that's just down to timing. Something, ironically, that YouTube user Prince William Official thinks I have zero of. Because in the United States, Coke Zero was launched just a couple of years before I moved here. And when I moved here, the United Kingdom, while by no means having zero Coke, had zero Coke Zeros. In the intervening years, this has apparently changed. So for once, both yeah. my British and American viewers know what I'm talking about. Actually, second thoughts, don't comment on that. So what is Coke Zero? Well, it's basically Coca-Cola that claims to be sugar-free. Essentially, it's the drink I thought I was making at the age of nine when I poured Coca-Cola through a sieve to extract all the sugar. It just ended up tasting like liquid metal cough drops. RC no matter where you look, it seems like every single soft drink has its cheap alternative knockoff. Dr. Pepper has Mr. Pib. Pepsi has Diet Pepsi. And in America, Coca-Cola has... So now I'm confused. Pepsi, Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper. I just assumed they were all the same style of drink, just with a different sort of taste. I feel like maybe Dr. Pepper's a bit richer, if that's even a thing. But the thing is, I don't drink... I don't, I don't like Pepsi's. It just tastes a bit cheaper than Coke, and Coke isn't even great itself. Dr. Pepper, I can't remember when I had it. I've definitely had it before, but it must have been years ago. But they're all colas, aren't they? So what is, why are they Coca-Cola making a rebrand or Pepsi when it's pretty much the same thing anyway? As RC Cola. And I say in America, but it turns out that this alternative is available in 67 other countries, none of oh. which are the United Kingdom. On the one hand, this is ironic because the letters RC stand for Royal Crown. On the other, it would be difficult to market this drink in Britain because RC sounds like RC. As for the drink itself, it did originate in the United States. And what does it taste like? Well, have you had Coca-Cola? It's like somebody took that and disguised it with a comedy mustache. It's basically one of those drinks that gets relegated to being a chaser, which in some ways can be beneficial for that drink because you get so plastered you think it's amazing. And then you tell everybody on Twitter about it at 4am. Now I've just realised it is possible that if you're reading my tweets at that time of the morning, you might be the sort of person that consumes this. Um, I hate energy drinks. I don't drink them. No chance in hell, man hate energy drinks so much my you do have that here monster energy is everywhere but again maybe it's from when he was here it wasn't here back then first job in the united states was working as a call center agent and for anybody that doesn't know working in a call center is all about metrics so how many daily calls are you taking how frequently are you resolving your customer's issue and good grief josh is taking his ninth toilet break but there's one metric that stood out to me more than most the amount of staff members drinking something called Monster Energy. What are all of these tins with what looks like a graffitied version of the letter M? Is this a nightmare version of McDonald's? So I inquired and the general consensus seemed to be that this was an awesome alternative to coffee. The problem was, people were so busy focused on the energy part, they forgot that it also turns you into a monster. 
It's like most energy drinks. When I lived in the UK, I was addicted to Red Bull because it did give me a buzz. It did give me an energy surge for two hours. And then the crash sets in. And speaking of crashes, not even the 2008 recession could stop Monster from taking over Britain. Now it does sound like a nightmare. The point is, Monster, while it hasn't actually taken over Britain, does now have a presence there. And for anybody wondering, this is probably helped in large part by the fact that Monster sponsors just about every extreme sport under the sun. Yeah. Britain, for its part, is more than happy to consume these extreme sports as well as green things, as evidenced by this. So Mountain Dew here, right? Man, I have a friend who is absolutely addicted to this drink. So addicted. I've had it a few times, a few years ago. And it is good, I'm not going to lie, it is good. But aren't they owned by Coca-Cola as well, for starters? So it's kind of like a combination. But secondly, it is, I don't know, it's like he drinks it every day or pretty much every day. I couldn't do that, man. I don't know how you could do that, but it is good. I'm not going to lie. It's an incredible drink, but I just don't drink it. I, I, I tell myself I'm not going to drink it now, so I don't feel the need to drink it in future because it's going to be a bad habit, but it is good. Well, that was a weird segue, Lawrence. I thought Mountain Dew wasn't available in Britain, hence its inclusion in your thumbnail. And to Uncle Toby, who's probably writing that as we speak, I say, fair point and shut up because caveats are a chief ingredient of this very entry. Firstly, let me just state that my very first encounter with Mountain Dew, or as Hoosiers call it, Mountain Dew, or just Dew, was very early on in my time living in Indiana, and how best to describe it, I'm not really sure, but taste vaguely but not strongly of lemon and or lime. It was sort of middle of the road, or should we say, center of the mountain trail. It was neither really? the reason I gave up pop nor an incentive to go back to it. It's just there. I know I there's like a lot it. of Mountain Dew fans out there. I'm not picking a fight with you or the company. And in any event, I'm not the person to take advice from. I come from a country that puts fries on bread. But I also come from a country I discovered today that has flirted with Mountain Dew. Firstly, it was apparently released in the United Kingdom in 1996, presumably to little fanfare, because it was phased out in 1998. However, I was today years old when I discovered that a different tasting drink by the name of Mountain Dew has been available in the UK. What? So it's a different drink? I mean, look at all of the stuff in here. I know Mountain Dew, I, f I swear I've heard Mountain Dew has made some crazy stuff. I mean, Coca-Cola too. I'm pretty sure you can use it as toilet cleaner. But Mountain Dew's got some crazy stuff in it. But they had to remake another brand of Mountain Dew just to sell it in the UK. Since 2010. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments. Damn. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Let me just search. Is Mountain Dew bad for you? <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be Mountain you banned in the uk bad i know it's going to be bad for you but i'm trying to hear what it can do mountain dew is not a healthy drink people should avoid drinking excessive amounts of any soft drink and sugar sweetened beverages including mountain dew so they control their blood sugars spike your blood sugar faster making you feel unwell damaging your health but also induce metabolic problems and brain signaling charges changes god damn um Mountain Dew is the worst type of soda that you can drink. Dentist stated that this beverage causes teeth decay. Yeah, see, I, I know it's a different level. Co like, Coca-Cola is probably the same, right? But Mountain Dew is just... I've just heard about it more. But, um, yeah, I grew up in East Tennessee. Let's see some of the comments. I grew up in East Tennessee. There's Mountain Dew in the old days. It was a slang for white lightning or moonshine or other forms of liquor. A while ago, Mountain Dew changed their logo to a throwback, which, if you, if you see... It is an obvious portrayal of its roots. But yeah, I don't really drink any of these drinks. I'm not an energy. I'm not a fizzy drinker, energy drink person. I don't drink caffeine at all. I try not have it in general, to be honest. But um, yeah, interesting reaction. I feel like most of the, I mean, the RC cola. But other than that, all of these are now in the UK. But I guess at certain points they weren't, which is what he said. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and let me know your favourite soft drink and if any of these are on there. But if not, I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe. Peace.